Welcome back to Kevin's Trooper Channel. Today, I wanted to see if there was something I could do about this. Now, I've seen several solutions for this seatbelt being slow to retract. And the first thing we're gonna try is what everybody says is just to clean them and see if that works. And then if that doesn't work, we're gonna have to pull the interior apart and wind the spring up a little bit tighter so that it'll wind up better. So we're gonna try the cleaning first, and if that doesn't work, we're gonna pull this interior apart and wind that spring a little tighter. Coming up. Now, if you guys will look closely at this, it is pretty gross. It's got oils and stains and uh, all kinds of, uh, of different things that have made this pretty hard and I've already tried this cleaning process once whenever I first got the trooper so what I'm gonna do this time is actually take the seat belt off and see if I can get a little bit deeper clean and I might actually let it soak for a while all right so I've got my pocket screwdriver and I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to pop this little cover off There we go. All right, that looks like maybe what a 14? Yep. All right, let's see if we can get this thing broke loose here. Sorry about the noise. My neighbor's trimming a tree or something over there. It never fails. All right, and this looks like this has, looks like there's some kind of little retainer clip in this, but I could actually leave that exactly like it is because I'm going to dump the whole thing in the soapy water and that'll be just fine, just like it is. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bucket of Dawn and the reason that I chose Dawn instead of laundry detergent or, or car soap is I'm specifically trying to remove the oils The reason that I chose Dawn is because I'm trying to remove oils and grease from the fabric. There's really nothing better to do that than Dawn. So I didn't use car soap or laundry detergent. I used dishwashing soap. And I'm going to pull this out as far as I can get it. 
And then once I reach my maximum, I'm going to take a clip and clip that off where it won't try to retract itself. And then I'm just simply going to put all of this down in the Dawn and I'm going to let this soak for 15 or 20 minutes. And on this part that I can't get into the Dawn, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take a car wash bit and just get a little bit on that and get to the parts that I can't get into the bucket just for a little more thorough cleaning. Now I'm gonna go do the other side while this soaks. Okay now, while that is soaking, I'm gonna come down here where the seat belt meets the floor and try to gain as much access as I can and see if I can get some silicone to squirt up in there to maybe hit the, hit the belt reel up here on the inside somewhere. And I'm also gonna spray some silicone down here. All right, and I'm gonna come spray some silicone down on this side. Just kind of blindly spraying it down in the, in the inside. Now I'm taking the seat belts in the soapy water and just kind of wringing them out and trying to work that soap through that belt as much as I possibly can here. And just giving that a good, a good cleaning. I'm just going to come work this soap through this a little bit more. I started shooting some footage for you guys yesterday and my door latch on the back door stopped working. My little boy couldn't get out if he was in the back. And, and so I decided that I was going to video the repair on that and that I was going to pull the back door panel off and either change the latch out or see if I could repair whatever was wrong with it. And after studying the latch mechanism on camera for about 20 minutes and tracing each little step of how the door opens, because I'd never really looked at a door latch before, I finally realized that one of the levers wasn't touching correctly. And then the solution was there's a little switch in the door jam that controls the child safety lock. And that's all it was. The child safety lock was pushed. It's not like on current cars where there's a button on the driver's panel that controls the child safety lock. There's a switch on the door jam of the back door that when that's turned, the, the, the back door latch doesn't work. The interior door latch doesn't work. That's all it was. So I had to delete the footage. There was nothing to repair there. It took me a while to figure it out though. <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a real stiff bristled brush and I'm just gonna give this a little extra brushing just to try to get that last, that last little bit of fibers in there to have as much flexibility as I possibly can. All right, it's been about an hour while they've been soaking. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the seat belts out and towel dry them. And then after that, I'm gonna let them dry overnight and put a fan on them and then we'll see how they do. Well, if nothing else, at least they certainly look better. That's for sure. I'm trying to figure out the best way to let these dry and not leave my doors open all night. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll my windows down and close the door and just let these hang out and then put a fan on it. I can already feel a difference though. All right, so while we're waiting on this to dry, there's nothing preventing me from putting this piece back together. Just want to make sure you don't get it twisted. Back to factory spec, as Erico would say. All right. And then it looks like these two little pieces snap right in there. All right, cool. The way that this went, if you guys have this come off, is the bolt goes through first, then it was the lock washer, then the regular washer, and then the retainer ring. Just like so. And we'll put our little plastic piece on. And there we go. All right, we've given the seat belts plenty of time to dry. 
Let's give it a shot and see how good we did. Wow, look at that. It looks like it's all fixed. A simple cleaning is all that it needed. You know, these seatbelt fabric, this seatbelt fabric gets stiff and dirty and greasy over time. <laughs> well, look at that. It looks like we've got it fixed. You know, this seatbelt fabric gets stiff and hard as it gets oily from our body and dirt and grime over time. And a good cleaning, a lots of times, can make this fabric flexible enough that it will roll up just like it did in 2001 when this thing rolled off the showroom. So job well done, and remember, we're DIY certified. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our great group of guys that we have here. And give me a thumbs up, because you know it means a lot to me. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video.